Hey, what is up, everybody? I am here to give you my review of WWE NXT for June 17th, 2015. Um, this show was awesome. I really enjoyed this show. And not a lot happened, but it was really awesome. And uh, I'll just get right into it. So we have um, Bob and Saxton, Witch Brennan, and Corey Graves on commentary for this show. And we kicks right off with the match. We have uh, Enzo Amore, Colin Cassidy, and Carmella. Uh, versus um, Blake, the NXT Tag Team Champions, Blake and Murphy, and Alexa Bliss. This was like a six-person mixed tag team match, which means that the men can only fight the men and the women can only fight the women. Um, and normally I don't like uh, mixed tag team matches. But um, I thought this match, you know, I normally they just kind of throw them out there just to get them out there. But this mixed tag team match made a lot of sense. I had been pushing for weeks just because of the way this boat up was going, that they have a mixed tag team match. You know, Alexa Bliss cost Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy the tag team championships. She had Tots, Carmella, and they all have issues here. So I thought this mixed tag team match made a whole lot of sense. And, um, so, um, before the match, Enzo Amore comes out and they do their thing, and he does his thing. My name is Enzo Amore, and I'm a bona fide... G and a bona fide stud or something like that. Um, and this right here is his big cast, and he's seven foot tall. And he always says at the end of each thing, and you can't teach that. And this right here, this is Carmella, and she's hot as hell, and you can't teach that. And then um, then he said, and then um, he always says, bada boom, Willis guy's in the room. And then uh, Carmella grabs the mic and talks about how um insults um Blake Murphy and Alexa Bliss, and it was really awesome. He, they one of the things that she talks about how um Blake and Murphy needed a woman to beat um her boys, which was awesome. So I thought that was really good stuff. And um, Colin Cassidy um says, and I got. And there's just one word that could do, that can describe you, and I'm gonna spell it out for you. S A W F T soft. Um, but he doesn't get to finish. Blake Murphy and Alexa Bliss come out before he gets to finish that, which I was kind of pissed about. But that's good heel heat, you know. Everybody loves that chant, and the fact that he didn't get to say it was good heel heat. Um, and we get the match. I thought the match delivered. I really liked the match, and uh. It starts with Enzo Amore and um, Blake in the win, and they have like a little bit of a brawl, and uh, then eventually everyone just starts fighting. Alex Ca Carmella fights with uh, Alexa Bliss, and Enzo Amore and Colin Castle fight with Blake and Murphy, and uh, that was kind of cool. And Blake and Murphy get the heat on uh, Enzo Amore for a while, and they take a cheap shot. One, um, I think uh, Murphy took a cheap shot. At um, Colin Cassidy. So Enzo Amore made the hot tag to Carmella. And she goes off on Alexa Bliss. And then uh, Alexa Bliss tags in um, Blake. And um, Colin Cassidy beats the crap out of him. He um, hits a power slam on him. And then he uh, Enzo Amore goes off the top and hits a splash on Blake for the win. Sorry, there's a helicopter going right over me. But anyhow. Yeah, Enzo... Um, so... Um, Enzo, Cassidy, and uh, Carmella go over. I was really happy with this. I was fine with this. They kind of needed to go over because I feel like that they were the right team to go over. Um, because um, Blake and Murphy have been getting the upper hand on them lately, so I think they needed this win. Uh, and then Samoa Joe gets interviewed, and uh, he says he came to NXT. One of the reasons was because he wanted to uh, get his hands on Kevin Owens. He said he never liked Kevin Owens. But he said he came to NXT because pretty much it's awesome. It's one of the hardest uh, wrestling products right now. And um, he says um, that um, Kevin Owens uses intimidation um, to try to get inside the mind of his opponents. And he said that intimidation's for the weak and it's not going to work with him. I thought he had cut a pretty good promo. Um, ever since Samoa Joe's come to NXT, I feel like his promos have been a lot better because I feel like... Uh, he had lost his passion for wrestling when he was in TNA, and he and uh, he, he his promos 
just were kind of like you, you could tell he didn't really care what, about wrestling really anymore. Like he lost his passion. But ever since he's come on NXT, he's just been killing it with his promos. So I really enjoyed that. Um, and then they show a video package. Um, who is Finn Balor? And this is part one of it. And um, it kind of shows like a little video package of his entrance. And I thought that was really good. And um, Finn Balor comes out. No, well, Finn Balor. Then um, he, uh, a guy asks him, who is Ferno Devitt? Which is Finn Balor's real name. And um, he uh, they cuts to this video package and he talks about his childhood. He talks about how um, he was born with um, four siblings and um, and he still has them all. And uh, how his ma how his ma parents married together, um, and uh, they lived a he lived a happy life as a kid. And he talked about how his father um drives trains. I forget what they call it, but um, he says that his father started from the bottom and worked his way up, and uh, that he says that that kind of influenced him a little bit. And he says that his mom was a housewife, um. And he said that what got him into wrestling is every Saturday morning, uh, WWF, which stands for World Wrestling Federation Superstars, was on. And uh, he would watch wrestlers like The Ultimate Warrior and The Undertaker, and that made him really want to be a wrestler. And in school, he took a career class, and he was asked what he wanted to be when he grew up, and he wanted to be um, a wrestler. And... Um, he said that uh, it was something different. Nobody ever said that. And he likes to be different from everybody else. And uh, so then he talked about how he went to wrestling school. And he really started wrestling. He, he said that he felt like he didn't want to wrestle. He said he felt like he had to wrestle. It was something that he had to do. And it shows um, some clips of some of his old matches from uh, Insane um, Championship Wrestling and Pro Wrestling um, UK, I forget the name of that company, but it showed, um, some of his, ma some of his, uh, from when he was o over there, and he talks about how, um, wrestling really wasn't that big in Ireland, so he decided to start his own wrestling school in Ireland, which I really liked, and, uh, Becky Lynch, who apparently I think is dating Finn Balor, talks about how, um, he knew that he loved wrestling. It was something that he was passionate about. And Fem Balor even said in this uh, video package that he felt like that wrestling, um, he, he didn't want to be a wrestler for the fame and for the glory. He wanted to be a wrestler because he was really passionate about it. And uh, he talked about, uh, Becky Lynch talks about how um, she wanted to be a wrestler herself, but there was no wrestling schools in uh, Ireland. And then he f she found out about um um, Ferno Devitt's wrestling school, and somebody else owned it with him. And Ferno Devitt felt, and Finn Balor felt like that. Um, he had the he was he, that he um uh, had the he was one of the right people to be training young wrestlers. And Becky Lynn said that she was not very good, and then Finn Balor never gave up on her. Um, and Finn Balor even said that Becky Lynch um she had it from the beginning. She just had to have confidence in herself and stuff like that. And it shows them kind of laughing together and uh, Finn Balor asking her how old she is and she says that she's like 17. So it's I think they are dating, but I could be one. Um, and then it talks about how um, the owner of New Japan Pro Wrestling, which, is, uh, which also stands for NGPW, I think, um, was really impressed with the president, was really impressed um, with his match and he wanted him to go down there. And uh, Ferno Devitt... Or Finn Balor did did it, and because uh, he felt like he uh, needed more challenges in his wrestling career, so that was uh that was the end of that. So and um, this video package is was awesome. I don't I totally think it's worth checking out, and they're gonna do more with it um next week, and I can't wait to watch uh, next week. And uh, this was my, one of my favorite parts of uh, NXT. Um, I really like how they're building up Finn Balor to be a threat to uh. Kevin Owens NXT Championship, but when they have uh, the match at um at um the the at the July fourth NX um the at the July fourth show in Tokyo, um and they did talk about his Tokyo days when he wrestled in Tokyo and stuff like that. So I can't wait. So the next match is uh Charlotte versus Cassie. I think is how you say her name. Uh, this match actually was a good women's match. I uh it was it wasn't a squash. It was actually really good. 
And um, Cassie got to show some of her moves, and I really am I'm impressed with Cassie. Um, Cassie hits a Hurricane, which was really cool. She hits like a heel kick in the corner on Charlotte, and then Charlotte hits a wicked big boot on Cassie, on Cassie, which was awesome, and she dominates the match for a while. And then uh, Cassie makes a little bit of a comeback. Uh, she hits a high cross body, which was really cool. And then um, Charlotte ends up hitting a stand-up neck breaker and then a spear. And then she hits uh, the figure four. And then she kind of benches back and hits a f and gets her into figure eight. Um, and uh, Cassie taps out and Charlotte wins. But I thought this match was re um, really solid here. I was really impressed with it. Um, it's better than the... The main boss is WWE Divas matches, so uh, that's saying a lot. Well, that's not saying much, but I think it, this was, that's saying a lot for, you know, their standards. Um, I think though Charlotte's good, but Cassie I was really impressed with. So then uh, Dana Brooke gets interviewed, and um, she talks about how uh, people have been saying that I'm a former um, fitness, um, some, you know, um, bodybuilder or whatever. Um, fitness competitor, and she says that she's currently a fitness competitor. She was at the Arnold Schwarzenegger Awards in Brazil, um, and um, she said that um, Charlotte um, is old news, and that she's uh, way better, and she's the total diva. And then afterwards, she pats her in the head. I thought the promo was really good, um, and I'm interested in seeing the Charlotte Dana Brooke. Um, feud. I can't wait to see what they do with it. I think at the next NXT special, we're going to get that match as a featured match. And I'm enjoying that. Um, and for once, they're doing like diva feuds that don't involve, well, women's feuds. I don't like to call the NXT uh, woman diva. But they're doing a woman feud that doesn't involve uh, the title, which I really like. You know, everybody on, uh, every all the women on NXT have a purpose, have a story, which I really like. Um, and then uh, we get Kevin Owens versus Samoa Joe. Um, Samoa Joe, Kevin Owens just, um, the match starts right away and Kevin Owens does what he normally does and just goes outside the ring and gets into his opponent's mind, but Samoa Joe just gets right out there and gets right in his face. I thought that was awesome. And then, uh, they have, like, a little chain war and Samoa Joe dominates him. He hits a splash in the corner and then Segui, and then he hits a w wicked kick, um, on the, in the corner on Kevin Owens, which was, I thought was awesome. And then, uh, Kevin Owens takes control. He hits um, a cannonball in the corner because Samoa Joe missed like a splash. And then he hits a senton on him. And Kevin Owens dominates the match for a while. And during this match, he says, um, Headlock City. No, Chinlock City. And that got a big pop from the crowd, which I thought was awesome. And then uh, Samoa Joe makes a comeback. And uh, he hits a wicked Insegui heel kick, which I thought was awesome. And uh, he hits like his patented moves that he normally did, the uh, senton himself. And then uh, he tries to get Kevin Owens up to do the muscle buster. And I thought he was actually going to hit it on him, but he didn't. Kevin Owens got out of it. And then he goes for the, um, to splash him in the corner. But Samoa Joe hits that like little um, move that he does to get out of it. I, I don't remember what it's called. Um, and then afterwards... Um, Kevin Owens rolls outside the wind. Samoa Joe goes after him. Owens throws Joe right into the steel post, and he's try and he tries to give him the power bomb right into the uh, apron again. But Samoa Joe fights out of it. They stop walling with each other, and then uh, the referee gets in between them. And Kevin Owens charges right into the referee. They stop walling some more, and then the referee comes to and he um, disqualifies Kevin Owens. So Samoa Joe wins by DQ. And Samoa Joe and Kevin Owens stop walling. They uh. Referees have to come out and break it up, and Kevin Owens gets back in the win, and Samoa Joe charges right at him, and they stop rolling some more. They have to call out security, and security breaks him up. Kevin Owens goes at him again. The security has to break it up again. Then Samoa Joe has to break it up. goes after him, and then the security have to break it up again. Then Kevin Owens leaves the win, and then he takes some cheap shots at a couple of security members, which I thought made him look like a badass. And then afterwards, um, Samoa Joe stands tall, and I thought this was a really good main event. Um, and I don't really think it needed to be a winner because I think they want to do this match again at some point, so I was fine with that. Um, and to be honest with you, I really like this episode of NXT. You had, uh, Owens versus Joe, which was really good main event. You had the interview with Dana Brooke, which I liked. The 
the women's match uh, with Charlotte and Cassie I liked. I really liked Samoa Joe's interview. That was really good. I liked the six-person mixed tag team match, and I love the Finn Balor uh, video package. That is what, So this NXT is totally worth checking out. I, um, I highly recommend it. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'll be back um, to give you a video at some point in the near future, and you can click on the bottom um, left corner to subscribe. So that's pretty much it, guys. See you later.